Daily viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now, not being a very sporting person, in fact, I hate sport of all kinds. Go out for a bit of a bit of a ride occasionally, but uh, there we are. Anyway, um, I don't really keep track of these events, and I'm told it's Wimbledon this week. So I thought well, I've got a couple of tennis records. I'll put them on for you. Here we go with his master's voice, B2068, Suzanne Lenglin on Lawn Tennis, parts one and two, spoken by Mademoiselle Suzanne Lenglin, who I'm told was um, a champion in the 20s. Here we go. I do my best to give you two words, Lawn Tennis, the game which is played more all over the world than any other. You must do your stroke properly, hitting the ball in the center of the racket. First come the ground strokes, which are made for hand and backhand after the ball has bounced. For both of them, it is essential to keep well away from the ball and to endeavor to hit it high on the bounce and not low, as most people do in the beginning, because it is easier. When taking the ball high, you have more control over it and give your opponent less time to anticipate your shot. The forehand stroke is made with the left foot forward and the left shoulder pointing toward the net. The racket is swung well back and brought forward with a continuous rhythmic motion. At the moment of striking the ball, the wrist is stiffened, but not so as to make a jerk. There must be a follow through, that is, the racket must be carried on. It should meet the ball well flat, that at the end of the follow through, it will be found to be turned upward, otherwise the swing will not have been perfect. The backhand, the backhand stroke is more difficult to acquire, but it must be learned if one is to become a good player. Remember that it produced with a similar swing to the forehand, but the right shoulder and right foot are forward, while the thumb lies along the handle instead of up or around it. Unless you are taken unaware and have to, never do a backhand with your shoulder square to the neck. In ground strokes, the weight of the body passes from the foot at the back to the foot in front, but the one at the back gives the power. Direction of the stroke is given not by flying or squirming the body, but by delicate flexion of the wrist. When desiring to place the ball with your stroke, fix your eye on the place in the opposite course where you wish it to bounce. Service must be delivered with a well-balanced body. Do not stand with both feet firmly fixed to the ground and push the ball over, but with the left foot forward for a pivot and the right foot easy for balance. Do not throw the ball up too high or too far forward and when snapping to hit, hit. Let the racket fall well back behind the shoulders and be brought to the blow without hesitation. Right on to the other side. When volleying, the ball must be hit with a racket held above the level of the wrist, not just jab. Even when reaching a stop volley, the racket is brought to meet the ball, the directing of which is done with the wrist. Be careful not to start the wrist movement too soon or the stroke will go wide. Hitting overhead for a smash must be done decisively. Do not fear the net. Again, mark the place to which the ball is to go with the eye and let the brain direct the body movement accordingly. It will assist you in striking if you recall it that the ball should be struck just a little bit above its central circumference. Otherwise, it will tend to fly upward from the racket. Study of your opponent will win you as many points as your stroke. The majority of players beat themselves even in the highest class. Never be quite stiff. 
keep on your toes. If you are ground glued, not only will you be late in moving for the ball, but you will fail to place your feet properly for the stroke, even if the ball comes straight at you for what is called an anchor shot. When playing in doubles, aim for the toes of the player who is advancing to the net. Watch for a chance of scoring shots down the center line and lob to the point, which means either the longest or more awkward chase or most hazardous overhead stroke for your opponent. This is most often on the backhand side. Do not forget the side line and always keep a square front to the net with your partner. One up, one back is dangerous because it leaves too much court open. And courage, don't blame your partner. My advice to all who would improve is practice, practice, practice. I was six months learning to do the backhand stroke, and it was two years before I had a really good one. Aim in play for courage, concentration, and self-control. From these will come ball control. However well you may play, never forget that it is possible to play better and always try to add to your knowledge and skill. A variety of strokes and pace combined with footwork is the essence of championship. Well, there we go, viewers. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully that was instructive. Thank you and goodbye.